Who will win the Great Playground Game Show? The Seahorses or the Giggling Giraffes? Join the Epic Dodgeball Duel and Hilarious Hula Hoop Challenge as we learn action verbs and teamwork phrases. Da. So, without further delay, let's embark on our narrative journey. The tension was thick on Elm Street Playground. Swings hung silent, slides stood empty. Today was the Great Playground Game Show, hosted by the Super Peppy Swing Set Sally. Two teams, the Sunburnt Seahorses and the Giggling Giraffes, faced off, their faces painted with war paint. Sally's voice boomed through a rusty megaphone. Welcome, Playground Warriors, to the Great Playground Game Show. Today, we find out who's the best at recess. The first challenge. Capture the flag. Not a real flag, but a bright red bandana hidden in the giant sandbox. Chaos erupted. The seahorses, led by the sneaky Emily Eagle Eye Evans, played like ninjas, weaving through the jungle gym. The giraffes, with the energetic but clumsy Ben Boulder Brooks in charge, launched a full-on attack, a giggling, flailing human wave. The sandbox became a war zone of flying shovels and buried dreams. Emily, with her super eyesight, spotted the bandana peeking from under a plastic dinosaur. She darted forward, dodging a rogue beach, pale launched by Ben, and grabbed the flag, scoring a point for the seahorses. Next up, dodgeball, but with a twist. Instead of heavy dodgeballs, Sally had a basket, overflowing with squishy water balloons. The cheers were loud. A well-placed water balloon could be hilarious, and maybe a little wet. Way to get someone out. The game was a mess of shrieks, dodging, and the occasional soaking of an innocent bystander, like Mrs. Peabody, the crossing guard, who wasn't too happy about it. In the end, the seahorses, with their superior dodging skills, won again. The final challenge, the Giggle Gargoyle Gauntlet. A series of silly tasks awaited designed to test their teamwork and, most importantly, not to laugh. They had to crawl through a tunnel of hula hoops while holding hands, without giggling, hop on one leg, while saying the alphabet backward, again, no giggling, and finally, stand perfectly still, while Sally told her most embarrassing childhood story. The giraffes, even though they were behind, started winning. Their team spirit and laughter somehow helped them do better. Ben, the goofball, turned his giggles into a secret weapon, distracting the seahorses during the hula hoop crawl. In the final round, even Emily couldn't hold back a smile at Sally's story about a very messy ice cream incident. When all the games were done, the score was tied. Sally, always wanting to make a big show, declared a sudden dance-off decider. The teams, tired but happy, showed off their best moves, from breakdancing to silly dancing. In the end, it was the giraffe's pure joy and teamwork that won the hearts and votes of the playground judges, a bunch of pigeons perched on the monkey bars. The seahorses, a little bummed, learned that winning isn't everything. The real prize, was the awesome day of games, laughter, and new friends made on the playground battlefield. As they all got participation trophies, they knew one thing for sure, next year, the great playground game show would be even bigger, even wetter, and even sillier. Congratulations on completing Tag Team Triumph! Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable! Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, thick, dense or heavy, used here to describe a palpable sense of tension. Number two, silent, completely quiet, without noise. Number three, empty, containing nothing, vacant. 
Number 4. Super Peppy, extremely energetic and enthusiastic. Number 5. War Paint, traditionally, paint applied to the face before going into battle, used metaphorically to describe face paint or markings for competition. Number 6. Boned, to make a loud, deep, resonant sound. Number 7. Rusty, covered with rust, also suggests something old or disused. Number 8. Chaos erupted, sudden and widespread disorder or confusion. Number 9. Sneaky, doing or saying things secretly, often in a dishonest or unfair way. Number 10. Weaving, moving in and out or through obstacles. Number 11. Full on, complete or to the maximum degree. Number 12. Flailing, waving or swinging something, often arms or legs, wildly. Number 13. War zone, an area or a situation that resembles a battlefield. Number 14. Buried dreams, hopes that are deeply suppressed or hidden. Number 15. Spotted, caught sight of, noticed. Number 16. Peaking, looking quickly, typically in a way that is not easily noticed. Number 17. Darted, moved suddenly and quickly. Number 18. Dodging, avoiding something by moving quickly to one side. Number 19. Grabbed, took hold of something quickly. Number 20. Scoring, gaining points in a game or competition. Number 21. Overflowing, filled beyond capacity. Number 22. Shrieks, high-pitched piercing sounds. Number 23. Soaking, making thoroughly wet. Number 24. Dodging skills, the ability to avoid being hit or caught. Number 25. Giggle Gargoyle Gauntlet, a fictional, playful, and challenging activity. Number 26. Silly tasks, actions that are lighthearted and not serious. Number 27. Backward, in reverse order. Number 28. Perfectly still, completely motionless. Number 29. Embarrassing, causing a feeling of self-conscious shame. Number 30. Impossible, not able to occur, exist, or be done. Number 31. Goofball, a person who is silly or acts foolishly. Number 32. Distracting, drawing someone's attention away from something. Number 33. Messy ice cream incident, a comical or chaotic event involving ice cream. Number 34. Dance off decider, a dance competition used to determine a winner. Number 35. Breakdancing, a dynamic style of street dance which includes intricate body movements, spins, and rotations. Number 36. Silly dancing, dancing in a fun, carefree, and unstructured manner. Number 37. Bummed, informal term for feeling disappointed or down. Number 38. Battlefield, a place where a fight or conflict occurs. Number 39. Participation trophies, awards given to all participants, regardless of their performance outcome. Number 40. Hilarious, extremely funny or amusing. Number 41. Bystander, a person who is present at an event or incident but does not take part. Number 42. Crawl, to move on hands and knees or by dragging the body close to the ground. Number 43. Big Show, an event or performance that is intended to be impressive and attention-catching. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.